And we're back for the bottom of the first inning here in the third and final game of day number two with the 2014 National Showcase. Final warm-up toss there for Dylan Seifert, left-handed pitcher out of Oil City, Pennsylvania. No score to this point. Tyler Ivey works around the leadoff single by the shortstop Xavier Legrant. Number 10, Brian. And stepping in now to lead things off for the black team is Brian Shecker, who swings through a fastball just above the zone for strike one. Six foot lefty comes with the fastball again, this time misses high and away. One ball, one strike to Shecker. Swing and a miss there makes it a ball and two strikes. And the fastball at 90 miles an hour. And locked him up there, called strike three. First out of the inning. Big tailing life on that fastball from Seifert. Hides it well coming from that high slot. Now stepping in with one away here is outfielder Josh Stowers. Out of the Chicago area. Westchester, Illinois. Town's Mount Carmel High School. Takes a look at ball two. Fastball at 92 miles an hour from Seifert. Too low, fouled off. And it looks like Stowers broke his bat on that one. And Stowers heading back to the dugout to get a new piece of lumber. A fastball inside, tried to get his hands in, but wasn't able to do it. Ran in on the handle and broke his bat. As we take another look at it. is inside so Cypher not afraid to work inside to these right handed hitters and we'll see if he can harness the command here with the 3-1 offering grounded up the middle to short firing on to first and the throw is wild Stowers is going to scurry on over to second base just beating the throw and he's going to be on second with one out here in the bottom of the first number one so fielded cleanly by Scott Capers, but, excuse me, that was Blakely Brown, primary pitcher who opened some eyes last night on the mound. That throw was a little errant as he rushed it, and so now we've got a man in scoring position as Doak Dozier steps to the plate. It's a good lefty-lefty matchup to evaluate Dozier from. He takes a look at the fastball away. Those are through 92 miles an hour from the outfield. Impressive 60 yard dash time as well. As he swings through that fastball. Let's move the count even to one ball and one strike. 657. One of the top 60 yard dash times of the first group. We'll run the 60 yard dash again today and one more time throughout this week as that breaking ball is fouled back to the screen. Dozier also had a single up the middle on a 93 mile an hour fastball from Gray Fentner. And takes a look at strike three on the outside corner there. So two away now here in the bottom of the first. So that'll bring up Curtis Terry with two outs. 
Terry out of Snellville, Georgia. Penn's Archer High School stepping in and fouling this one off. Six foot two, 225 pounds. Big power hitter. Runs well for his size, 7-2, 7-60 yard dash. He chops this one down to third base. Fair ball, it was a close one. Terry didn't think it was fair, but it is, and that will do it for the inning. So after one inning of play, no score, we go to the second. You're watching the 2014 Perfect Game National Showcase. <laughs> 